All right. My friends, okay, so we're back here on the program. We are a good month or so into the winter time. We know that, and I don't want to get into that conversation. Because what happens when we do that is Canadians have this thing that we do. There's, there's two kinds of Canadians. There's the people go who, it's Canada, get used to it, it's winter. And then the other people, I like to call the reasonable ones, that go, yeah, but it still sucks. Because <laughs> we, we didn't have the weather to talk about. Who would we talk about? Your dog? No. It's cold. We have that in common. I want to explore that conversation with the panel. Oh, hey, everybody. Paige Chen is here. Ron Peterson is here. Ron Thorne is here. Are you, uh... Hey, look, man, just because this conversation could help people at home, how are you coping, Mark? I'm all right. You like I'm, it? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm fat. <laughs> you're living off your own reserves? Is that yeah. What you're, doing? you're fit. No. That's your fault. <laughs> It's Canada. Get the lard on. <laughs> that should have been our Canada 150 slogan. It's Canada, get your lard get on. Get your lard <laughs> on, yeah. What, what has to happen before, like, you know, we're, we're okay with it for a while. Everybody wants a white Christmas. We're cool with this uh, snow. Not the way some people in the South want a white Christmas, but I mean, like, a white Christmas with snow. And you, you sit there and go, oh, this is beautiful. I love it. But at one point, you're like, I've had enough. I'm done. What's your cutoff point where you start complaining? I'm from Edmonton, so I'm used to the, the temperature being like the deep vacuum of space. Right. Uh, and I think, you know, I, complaining about it, uh, complaining about the weather is, is one of the rights in the Charter of Rights and Freedoms True. as a Canadian. Trudeau and I think insisted it stayed in. Is, exactly, and I think I feel very Canadian in this True. weather. Are you coping all right? How are you dealing? You're from uh, the East, so... I'm from the East Coast, where snow weighs a ton. It's so heavy, and then I lived in Winnipeg for a couple of years, so, you know, the dry cold. I should be used to that. And I think I'm doing things backwards because in the new year everyone wants to get fit and lose weight but we should be getting our lard on according to what you're saying. <laughs> right. I'm into so I'm going to start packing on those cheese sandwiches. <laughs> That's a whole other conversation. Like this is the world is ending. Right. Right? That's this, what we're going through. Yeah, this is not winter. This is the end of the time. So that's what you're feeling. <laughs> yeah. Right. So that's what you also I'm don't getting, getting fat. I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm stacking up on soup. <laughs> I'm collecting animals. I don't know why. You like food animals. Source. I'm doing some food sort source. of arc. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make sense. If you see Jake Gyllenhaal and Dennis Quaid walking down the street, with yeah. snowshoes on, we know it's the day after tomorrow. <laughs> we know that it's officially over. I know, it's yeah. gonna be so boring, too, like the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind the movie. Come on! I didn't mind it! I didn't mind it! What? We have fans of <laughs> the day after tomorrow? He's gotta groan. <laughs> when we return, how you actually enjoy this? Uh, how do you have fun when you don't feel the sun? We're gonna redeem winter next. That's right, my friends. We have a live studio audience, and it's a lot of fun. It's even better, too, because, my friends, it is free. So free. I'd love it if you join us. Go to strombo.com slash tickets to find out how. All right, you're back here on the program. Just having a little conversation on the panel about the weather. Uh, the, I think, honestly, the conversation about the weather is worth it just to follow people on Twitter, to see the ebbs and flows of people's relationships with it. Uh, the comedian now, Rhiannon Archer, had a great tweet. Check this out. She said, Canadian winters are a lot like British food. Not many like it, and it needs a lot of salt. <laughs> and then this one here is uh, from Jen Fair at Wells. Take a look at this one here. It's today's weather map. It's all... I can't really put it on TV, but just imagine... Which F word and how many F words <laughs> go with the cold? Hey, when you were a kid, how did you cope with winter? How did you deal with it? Well, you know, it, winter was sort of magical when you were a child. You had all these whimsical ideas of Christmas and, you know, perhaps a snowman, you know, coming to life or, you know, there, there was, it was magical and whimsical. And I, I like to think that I've, I've held on to that whimsy and magic to get me through, but uh, I do that now with hallucinogenic drugs. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? We used to go tobogganing on our uh, front yard and straight across the street into the ditch, into the woods across the street. Right. That's what we did. But see, parents today would never let their kids toboggan that far out of their eyesight. No. They would never be on a street. Were you dodging cars at the time? We didn't look for cars. <laughs> it was horrible. Now that I think about it, it was awful it was... because our house was on the top of a hill, and across the street there weren't any houses. It was just woods, just forest. So we would just, whenever we felt like it, zip all the way down, and you would shoot off the snowbank like this, and you could fly clear across oh, the street, that's amazing. down a ditch into the woods. Now, if it's I say, not safe. If but... I say old man winter, what do you think? Rugged testicles. <laughs> <laughs> they would be. Right? They've been through a lot. This is like a Warshock test. What? Yeah. That's just science. 
<laughs> why are you offended? I'm not offended. I don't think it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hey, by the way, you can watch a lot of that gold if you're watching us in the Kitchener area, January 18th at the Registry Theater of Toronto and the Comedy Bar on February the 15th, right? Yeah. Mark Forward, everybody. At <laughs> Mark underscore Forward. Pay 10's podcast and Pay's radio show. It's on Pay10.com. She's on Twitter as well. And Rod Peterson, you got to run. You got to play at Pass Mariah. Peter Pass Mariah. It's right. called Pith. What's it about? Yes, Pith? It's, it's called Pith. Yes, Pith. it's a great Canadian play by an Edmonton playwright named Stuart Lemoyne. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's for the family, and it's a really hilarious comedy about adventure. Good watch yeah. the magic, everybody. It's a pleasure to be with you. Good things. <laughs>